So much going on this morning. You are watching Hannah Alper conducting a Facebook Live interview right now. If they want to tune in, Winston, how do they do that? It's uh, facebook.com slash BT Toronto. That is where the chat is going and chime in. They're going to be taking some of your questions. Uh, it's going to be a great conversation there. The ladies sort of are scared. You can sit down. You can go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It's, it's okay. I, it looks like they're all standing back there afraid. But, it's but yeah. intimidating. All the faces. <laughs> uh, I get it. All right. Hey, good morning, everybody. International Women's Day. Woo! I am so blown away by the positive comments we've been getting, uh, you know, Thank men, you. women, everybody. It is a message of unity, and uh, we're going to be showing them, as you can see uh, here on the screen. So keep them coming. Hashtag BT Women's Day. Now, the, the staff were asked, yeah. uh, Timmy, the staff were asked to, to bring in women who were important to them, and mm -hmm. so you brought in your sister. Yep, my sister back and, there. And Dina, you brought I in... I brought my sister-in-law, and I brought my soul sister since high school. And a pair, our big boss, Paul Rogers... Uh, it brought in someone, so we have to yeah. talk to her now yeah. because uh -oh. he's the big boss. No, 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 because <laughs> honestly, want to. she is an incredible woman. Where's Courtney? Where's Courtney? Hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Courtney Hi. Uh, from the Pink Pearl Foundation. I'm reading on this. Tell me about Pink Pearl. This is incredible. Yeah, so Pink Pearl Foundation is a Canadian charity, and we support young women facing cancer between the ages of 18 and 40. So cancers of all types. So today, we have with us two of our incredible volunteers. Um, so these are two of about 25 folks who really run the organization and develop these programs. And then three of about 1,000 um, inspirational young women who have actually participated in our programs and have supported each other through their cancer journeys. Wow. And so when it comes to uh, having that support of other women there together who are going through the same thing, uh, what does that feel like having that support? Yeah. Do you want to talk? About oh, sure. So I'll speak to that. Uh, who my are name, you? My <laughs> name is Krista and I actually was diagnosed with cancer on the same day that I became a new mom. Wow. So I went into really early labor with my son and the doctors found a tumor. And so I didn't actually feel like I fit in any group. I couldn't relate to the new moms. When I with two cancer support groups all the ladies had a lot more gray hairs than I did <laughs> and so when I found Pink Pearl I it felt like I found home and we laugh together we cry together uh, it's women of uh, different cancers different stories but we can all really relate to each other and be with people who get it how can people at home who are watching participate or take part I understand there's a volunteer program as well as finances are always needed in terms of donations right of time or money absolutely so I'll speak to it a little bit just that we we have an upcoming gala, which is the, the biggest fundraiser of the year. It's on April 13th at the Great Hall, and you can purchase tickets at um, pinkpearlfoundation.org. And Courtney could probably speak to a little bit more details about that. Yeah, I mean, that's great. So anyone that wants to get involved, that's a great way to kind of come out and learn about the organization. Or again, head to the website. Um, you know, if you are out there and you're a young woman who is recently diagnosed or has completed the cancer journey and is struggling, just know that we're out here and there's amazing women like this that are here to support and go on the website and there's lots of different ways to contact oh, us. Right. I'm so inspired by the strength. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, hey, Courtney, uh, while we have you, yes. your, your uncle is yeah. our big boss. Thanks, Uncle Paul. Uh, <laughs> Do you have any embarrassing pictures, uh, anecdotes? He what's made me cute, promise. I might want to come back one day. So what's I can't. a cute pet name you have <laughs> that the <laughs> family just, has for we him? Need, yeah. We need something He's for just our Uncle back Paul. He's just Uncle Paul. <laughs> what is that? He's just Uncle Paul. We can all call him can Uncle we all, Paul. You know what? From now on, yeah. that's yeah. the staff. Let's, let's all call no, him No, she did. Uncle Paul. Okay. From now on, the staff will refer to our big boss as Uncle Paul. <laughs> Good morning, Uncle Paul. Paul. Uncle Paul. <laughs> this Justin, the control room, saying no, do not do that. Paul's yelling at the screen right now. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul.